Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. This is Give You DCX. Right, last time we were in the um one of Rocket's hideouts, should I say, the first one, which is in the game corner. And basically last time I believe I took out the only two rockets in the area, these two. Which I clearly did because they haven't encountered me. And so now we are going back down the stairs to the next level. Basement floor 2. We're going to take this guy out. Yes, yeah, so basically we're going through here to get the self scope so that we can continue on with the plot. Basically. Right, so here we have a Zubat. Um. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Nindy for now. It's been a while since I've done a recording for Pokemon. Um, basically, what's been happening is I've been working. Um, yeah, I've got a job, so I've been working. Basically, um, been working more or less full-time hours. So when I get home, I can't be bothered to record because I'm tired. Or when I have a day off, I spend it with my girlfriend. Um, but I thought this morning, well, I'm getting close to 2,000 views, not a lot, but it's still a little milestone for me. Um, and basically, I wanted to make sure that I had some new stuff up for when I hit 2,000. Also to get us to 2,000 a bit quicker, I suppose. Um, so yeah, this is why I'm doing a recording this morning. Uh, that and I don't go to work till four o'clock this afternoon, so I do have a bit of time. Um, apparently next week so far I have zero hours to work uh, because my work is based on is a seasonal job. It's based upon uh, vacancies due to staff, other staff uh, taking holidays or being ill. Uh, so that sort of contributes to my hours um, but there's been a lot of problems with the uh, with the store I'm working with um, like they've had cuts they have to make cutbacks on hours etc so my hours are so far a zero next week so what I might do is if it stays like that or if I've only got like a couple hours here and there I'm going to do huge recording sessions a uh, good few hours in a pop for both this and Half-Life 2. Uh, Nindy can be changed now. Let's uh, get out Flareon. Just because Flareon is our lowest level. So yeah, that is... Uh, anyway, that is the plan, hopefully, for next week. If uh, I get very few hours given to us, I will do much recording. Much recording. That was bad English. I do apologise. But anyway, let's get back to the game. Enough about my life for now. Right, so we have just defeated this team, Rocket Grunt. I surrender! And here, have some money, leave me alone! Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out an indie. Put Flareon up front for now. And yes, I know my Pokemon are quite overpowered for this, for this area. But that is the way I like it. I like to make sure that my Pokemon are ridiculously overleveled. I now have an X speed, so we're going to run around here. Yeah, most of the items in this area, to be fair, are pretty crabby. I mean, the Moonstone is the exception to the rule, but mm, I wouldn't really say anything else is that great. I mean, you can, you can get a rare candy, but again, I'm not really fond of using rare candies because it doesn't boost your stats up as much as what uh, normal leveling would normally do. Oh well, that's super potion, that's quite useful. I'll take that back. Ah. <laughs> oh, spinny, spinny, spinny. How very confusing is you. Whoever installed them is obviously very obviously loves spinning rides at uh, theme parks. 
Right, and here we get a hyper potion. There's two grunts, and I'm going to take them both out just for the sake of this LP. Right, and this guy has a Grimer, level 20. Yeah, Flareon still doesn't have any fire moves yet, but... Flareon will probably learn a new move. This is just me guessing, because I can't really remember. Probably at about level 20. No, not level 20, anything. Level 30, perhaps, or maybe level 20. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on any of this. I'm just guessworking at the moment with it when it comes to levels and attacks. Uh, no, we may as well keep Flareon out. Doing a good enough job. Coughing! I wouldn't mind having a coffin, but they're actually quite difficult to raise. Uh, I can't be bothered with the hassle. Yes, I know that's being lazy and unimaginative, but... I probably will have an unusual team purely just for being unusual, I suppose you could say. Um, purely because I don't want to have the standard sort of setup that most Let's Players would have. Um, but nevertheless, I'm not going to uh, make it overly difficult for myself, like getting Pokemon that like take 10 times more experience to get a level than any other Pokemon. Because there is some Pokemon that seem to take a lot longer to level up. That or it's just more difficult for them to level up. Please don't do six, please don't do six. Oh, you did six. Damn. And well, we're going to have... I think I'm going to get out my... Persian for this. Yeah, I'll do the Persian with my milk. Give me my milk, you floaty man. You had no milk if I bite you in the face. And Team Rocket Grunt was beaten. And Persian did a good job. Have some milk. Yes, thank you. Meow. Next up we have this one. Why did you come here? I came here to get the Silscope and just to generally kick your ass. Because we don't like Team Rocket in these parts. No. We don't. Go Sparky! Hit them with the Shockwave, which can never miss. That is why I like using Shockwave, because I know it will always hit. It's not the strongest electrical move, but it's the most reliable. And we're just gonna get Persian back out, because Persian likes its milk, and Persian is very posh. Yes. But I am a posh kitty. Oh no, the Raticate hit my kitty. I am a cat, you're a mouse, prepared to be eaten. Yes. Meow. There you go. And put. My god, did he just have a ratata and three and two rat kids? Oh, I don't say that's three rat kids. Meow, more food, more food for me. Yes. Meow. I will eat all his mice and become very fat because I am a fat cat. In both senses of the terminology of fat cat. I am both physically going to get fat, and I am also very rich. This mouth will only be an appetizer. Or dessert, because it looks like a piece of dessert. Yes, that will do very nicely. Put me back in a Pokeball, I want to go to sleep. Okay, Persian, there you go. So that was Persian, folks. Uh, I did... Persian did make an appearance in one of my video recordings. But that was one of the video recordings where everything screwed up and the sound died. Um, you've already seen the technical difficulties video and obviously me explaining in one of my other Let's Play videos about that problem. Uh, anyway, there was nothing in there. It was just for experience and shits and giggles. Um, so yeah, now we have this area. Um, yeah, I'll be able to fight this Grint in the time I've got left. We got word from upstairs that there was an intruder! Yeah, that was me, you fool. Oh no, here's a matchup. He could actually beat my Pikachu! Unless I kick him in the head! <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wasn't good to win. Guess who we're getting out, folks? No. No, it's not Persian. Yeah, that's Clefairy this time, because Clefairy's only level 30. Lowest level 
that is still alive. Oh, almost leveled up, actually. Oh no, this may do some damage. Ha 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 You have been attracted to me. Now you are dead. Take that. And Clefairy gets a level up. Yes, you lost indeed. And that is it for this episode, people. Uh, in the next episode, we will continue through uh, this area, this rocket hideout, and get the Silscope, hopefully. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos in the future. Goodbye.